I'm gonna show you how these guys are pulling in all of these traffic and ranking for all these keywords just by doing one simple thing that's fully automated, okay? So here's the pages they rank, and you'll notice something odd here. First things first is this is all in French, so most of the traffic, right, 90 plus percent comes from France, okay? Now, if you've watched this video of mine, you know that if you're not targeting the international markets, so non-English speaking markets, you're losing on a ton of traffic and money, okay? But again, these guys, they are an agency in France, so of course most of the traffic comes from French speaking people, okay? And so what they're doing, right, is they're taking in, and this is a page that grew from zero to 300 in monthly search traffic. This is all AI, by the way, all AI. And it's this page right here. And what this is, quite simply, is just they are taking their videos or other people's videos and converting them into blog posts. So this is all done with AI. And they just took the video and converted it into a blog post. Same thing for this one. Video converted into a blog post. Video right here uh, converted into a blog post. Okay, These are all video to blog post conversions. Every single one of these ones. Every single one of these, is take, they take a video and they transform the video into a blog post, okay? And as you can see, it clearly works, right? I'll even refresh this, you know, I'm not just doing like some shady stuff right here. This literal page, which is just literally them taking in, again, I'll do it in English, taking a video and converting the info from that video into a valuable blog post is ranking and pulling in all this traffic, okay? In just a very short amount of time. Now, reason why this works, and it's not as if they're stealing content, right? They're just repurposing, whether it's their videos or not, right? They're taking in information that's in video form. They're, of course, crediting the creator and then transforming it into written form on a blog post, okay? So people think that reading is gonna go away. Reading is not gonna go away, right? People still prefer to read. Some people still like to read, like to like read through tables, read through bullets, right? Some people prefer to read. I myself, I prefer to watch videos, but surely some of you guys watching out there prefer to read stuff, right? I know a lot of people who prefer to read. And so again, they're crediting the author and converting the info right here into a blog post, okay? And literally this blog post posted is ranking for a bunch of keywords and getting in an insane amount of traffic for the effort they put in, okay? Not much effort. Again, they didn't record the video. They just used this AI, by the way, to convert, let's just go over here, features, video to blog post, and they take this, they put a URL right here, I'll, I'll even show you how it works, go to the dashboard, open this up right here, click YouTube to blog post, I'll even go and find a cool video right here, let me just go and say, let's say car wow, okay, because it's a very visual type of video, take this, take this video, copy the URL, win in a drag race between there you go, paste it in here, remove all this stuff, I can add as many as I want, of course, I can do this at, like for multiple videos at the same time, click add video, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the language, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click this little pencil icon right here so I can edit uh, the content. So I want it to be in a, let's do English. I mean, I can do any other language. I can do Greek, Spanish, Portuguese, it doesn't really matter. And again, targeting international languages is insanely valuable because you can take the valuable content from a certain video, taking all that info, convert it into a blog post for any language you want, right? And rank that way because the info there is still very valuable. You're just taking it in and translating it if you like. Again, I can do, I can do it in English or I can do it in any other language if I'd like. Let's do it in Dutch, why not, right? I can give it custom instructions, custom prompts to uh, write the blog post in a way that I feel that makes more sense for my readers, for my niche, doesn't really matter. I can set up advanced settings like the secondary languages so I can have the same video be translated into multiple languages and uh, create multiple blog posts from that. I can change the formatting, I can add images if I'd like, and there you go. Hit, hit save changes, and then I can just click a button and generate the article, the blog post again. Literally, what these guys did to do this is literally what I'm doing right now, okay? Uh, so it's just changes and to do generate article, right? Now, in a few seconds, I'll do exactly that. And I can, again, like these guys did it right here, I can take the video, I can post it to my site, and I can do the exact same thing. And I can almost assure you, nobody in the world has taken that video in specific, that's, I think, two expensive cars, two Bugattis racing against each other, and wrote an article in Dutch about it. So if there's enough search volume for that, I can assure you we can, we can easily rank for any of the keywords that that video could rank for. So just imagine the possibilities, right? This is insane. Again, you're not stealing content, okay? You're always crediting the author because you're just literally embedding the video into the article right here. You're literally doing, doing it yourself. You're just taking in the info and either, and converting it into a written form to 
any of any language in the world. And if you're doing it for non-English languages, I mean, the chances of you ranking and getting all this traffic is very, very high. High. So, so that, that's that. Let me just go here and see. Okay, there you go. It's done. Open this up. Again, this is in Dutch. So I won't understand a thing. But uh, there you go. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport versus Poor Sport, whatever. Right. Again, all in Dutch. I don't understand what this is. But there you go. If this would be, and I have to do some keyword research, but if this were relevant for certain keywords, right, I can assure you that we'd be dominating the Dutch market for all this stuff. And I can just click here, post to integration. So I can just post it straight to my site. I don't have to copy it. I can just click post to integration. It says integration, by the way, because we integrate with all these uh, CMSs. So it doesn't matter what you're working with, WordPress, Webflow, Shopify, Ghost, doesn't really matter. Now, one thing that's pretty cool, right, is that I can automate the whole process. I can take, I can create basically an auto blog, right, that takes in a YouTube channel as a feed. So I can paste here the YouTube channel. Okay, let me just, actually let me just do this step by step. I can take Carwow's Car YouTube channel, copy this, and when they upload a new, I hit create feed, and as they are uploading new videos, right, I'll be automatically creating blog posts in any language I want and uploading it to my site. So on a more visual note, this AI right here, right, is connected with my website, okay? And as Carwow, that YouTube channel on YouTube, posts videos, right, as they're posting videos every single week or every day, I don't know how many videos they post, right, as they're posting videos every other day, right, we will automatically convert the videos into blog posts for any language, Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, Chinese, I don't know, uh, any language, okay, and post these blog posts to our site automatic on autopilot. We can just set up this automation so we don't have to do a thing, literally. You don't have to touch a, th a thing. You can have this automation running forever. And as they upload videos, you, you have blog posts. Now you can do this for multiple YouTube channels. You can do it for this YouTube channel, you can do it for that one. You can have multiple YouTube channels, right, all producing a bunch of videos. You take the videos, you automatically convert them into blog posts for any languages you want and post them straight to your site. You can have sites that just target certain channels in certain languages or multiple channels in multiple languages. I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. And the thing is that it works, right? It is working. It's bring, bringing in traffic to their site. Of course, then the goal of all this traffic is to convert it. You have to make sure people reading this actually buy from you, and in this case, um, buy from this uh, marketing agency, right? That's the whole goal. For that, that's a, a whole video in it itself, like having proper uh, conversion mechanisms, like, for example, a call to action here on the sidebar, maybe a call to action here down low, as they do so right here, maybe a bit more aggressive. So, um, but again, this is a conversation for another time because traffic can be a vanity metric if you don't properly monetize it. This could be worth zero. By the way, you can go watch this video right here where I break down exactly this, where we were having this page which got a ton of traffic, but it was making us zero dollars for multiple reasons. Right? Not very good calls to action, I think, and uh, completely, completely irrelevant keywords. But again, that's a video for another time. My point is that there's a lot of things you can do here, and then you can set it so, um, let me just go here, to campaigns. Again, there's, there's tutorials for all this. I can create a new campaign, so uh, car YouTube channel to blog posts in Dutch, and I can enable auto blog, right? And I can have it fully automated. So it takes in info from the feed, from the YouTube channel feed. It automatically generates the blog posts and then publishes them to my site automatically, right? I can set how many I want, every day, every 12 hours, every one hour, so I can randomize them. I can also syndicate this to social media, so I can have the blog post basically be posted to my blog, and then as soon as they're posted there, they're automatically syndicated to my LinkedIn profile, Facebook, Twitter, right? I can have this whole ecosystem running on autopilot every single day. So that's pretty cool. And again, it's not just cool, it is cool, but it actually works, as you see here, and as you see from all the traffic they get right here. Most traffic, if not, no, not most, but I, I say around 50% uh, is from the page like this, where you just basically convert blog po excuse me, videos into blog posts. Again, it's super cool because this guy isn't going out, out his way to convert his valuable info into a blog. Well, why not do it for them while giving them traf uh, credit? And while they're at it, why not just do it in multiple languages? This is in French, right? The French market is also curious. Do it in German. Do it in Portuguese, right? It is insane the amount of uh, opportunity here, right? Especially for international-based markets. So if you want to give it a go, just go to rwell.com, test it out. If you're on a coupon code, just click here, help and support, and ask uh, our support guy for a coupon code. He'll hook you up with a coupon code. Um, or if you want more strategies, more, more of this stuff that I talk about here, these, these nuanced things, these new stuff that I, that I come up with, you can get access to this, which is our academy, which basically gives you a full three years access to Arvo, 
plus access to the academy, which has a bunch of courses, training on how to do SEO, how to do SEO for AI search engines. I mean, you can scroll out past all these testimonials and find exactly what's inside. I think this is a b better deal because you get all these courses and a bunch more stuff, plus a plugin, and again, a year's access to Arvo, which does what I just showed you now about the um, a YouTube video to blog post, but there's a bunch more stuff, man. I'll just show you my favorite feature from, for just to end this off. Right, I can take the article that I just wrote, just to hop on here and click the article. Boom, open this up, edit with AI, click AI Assist, and I can say, hey, listen, uh, I, th I think the intro is too complicated. Make it more simple to understand for non-car geeks. So you can basically speak back and forth with the article and change anything you want. So it's quite pointless to use ChatGPT from now on, right? You can literally speak it with it and say, hey, change this, add an image there, add there. for example. It changed a couple of things, right? This is in, in Dutch, so I don't understand the thing. So it basically said, hey, I've re rewritten the introduction to be more engaging and less technical. It should now appeal to a broader audience. Let me know what you think. Let's say I accept this, okay? Uh, add a paragraph that talks about why Bugatti is a great, great brand. Sorry for my spelling. And basically, you'll find a place to add the paragraph that talks about why Bugatti is a great brand. You can say, hey, listen, add a link here, add a link there, add an image here, add an image there, add a video there. You can basically do anything you want as if it was like your assistant to change things in real time. Boom, there you go, right? And then you can use the in-article editor for say, hey, add links here, add links. And then these go in tandem, so the AI assistant as well as the in-article editor. So if I said just say add links, so you're gonna find the best places in this paragraph to add links to, boom, there you go, links were added. I can say, hey listen, um, rewrite this, make it longer, make it short, make a list, make a table, because maybe you think your users will read this info better in a table form. Simplify, add keywords, right? mention the keyword, um, say, let's say you have a product, product that cleans cars. Mention my car cleaner 9000, and it will find a way to properly introduce this keyword into the text, okay? I can even like do custom prompts, like re write this so, Every word rhymes, rhymes with orange. I don't know. I mean, you, you get the point. You can basically interact and do a bunch of stuff. This is my favorite feature because you actually interact with the AI. So that's pretty cool. We also have the uh, AI agent, which is also my, my second favorite feature, to be honest with you guys, the site optimizer. Basically what it does is you just add your site to the, the AI agent, right? And it will take a look at your site and take a look at all these parameters and say, hey, listen, we think your page title is wrong. So it basically analyzes a bunch of pages on your site and then gives you recommendations, right? You said, hey, listen, this page right here, the slash AI editor, has this title. We think you should change it for this. And then here's why. So it, it doesn't just tell you, hey, listen, change this to that. It tells you, hey, change this to that, and here's why we think you should change it. And then you can click apply, and the AI agent will automatically go to your site and do the changes automatically for you, like, just like that. So you'll do this for page titles, Meta descriptions, canonical URLs, image alt text. By the way, if you, if you try this out right now, I can assure you you have a bunch of images with alt text. Uh, internal links, so let's say you have a bunch of pages on your site, okay? The AI will go through your site, right, and find all the pages and then say, hey, listen, I think we should link this page to this one, this one to this one, this one to that one using these anchor texts, right? And so this is awful to do manually, but the AI does it for you like in a few seconds. You can just hit apply or decline and if you hit apply, the AI will go into your site, automatically interlink those pages, or find the best anchor text to link one page with another one. So that's pretty cool. Also the schema, which is very, very valuable. Uh, so that's why this is my second favorite feature. But again, I'm just yapping and selling you on this. If you want to get it, go ahead. Again, people are seeing great results with it, as you see here. Um, and it doesn't just do this, but if you just use it for this, well, I can assure you, you'll see great results. So yeah, that's it. Give it a go, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. And please, if you can comment SEO for the algorithm, that would be amazing because every comment helps showing this video to more people. So again, thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.